A man goes to a gas station to fill up his car. He goes to pump gas, but nothing comes out. The card reader worked just fine, but no gas. He cancels the transaction, and then he goes to the next pump. Same thing. Knowing there isn't another gas station for miles, he goes inside to talk to the attendant. Ma'am, do you have your pumps on? No, she replied. I'm wearing my Ugg boots today. You've seen the movie. You've quoted the lines. Manners maketh man. Oxford's not bros. If you save the world, we can do the next. <laughs> How did that one get in there? You've wanted the attire. And here we have the Kingsman shoes. Well, they're kingsmanshoes.co shoes. As you can see, I'm wearing my Kingsman suit. Well, the closest I have to a Kingsman suit. But that's because I got these. You know how it works. You mention something within five miles of a cell phone and you start getting ads for it. And then the people you live with get the same ads. Seriously, I'll be working at home and my fiance will be miles away at her work I'll do a Google search for something and Facebook will start sending her ads for it. Speaking of ads, if you want to make sure that you never get bothered with another ad on your computer, cell phone, or even commercials on your TV, well then hit that subscribe button and notification bell below and I guarantee you it will do absolutely nothing to help you with your advertisement problem. But it will make sure you get notified when I do these awesome videos and reviews like this one here. So kingsmanshoes.co, here's the page. Crafted to impress, handcrafted leather shoes. 100% satisfaction guarantee. So let's take a look at all their shoes. All four of them. But look at that discount. These are nice. Handcrafted. Look at these Oxfords. Remember, Oxfords, not brogues. And then these cute little Alpha slippers. I wonder if Alpha from the Alpha M channel has these. I doubt it. I ordered the Vittorio Frenzy handcrafted leather shoes and the Marco Vittorio handcrafted floral Oxford shoes, both in a size 13. I normally wear a size 12 wide or a 12 and a half, so I got these in a size 13 US because I know European sizes run a little bit smaller. I ordered the first pair and then they gave me an additional 50% off for a second pair, so why not? Maybe one of these will be decent. My hopes weren't all that high, but I figured I'd see what they were about. And if you're watching this, I think you were a little curious as well. I tried to look online for reviews before I ordered them, but I couldn't find any reviews. They arrived in a thin yellow wrapping, almost like slightly insulated tape from China. And then these are how the boxes were inside. But, at the end of the day, it's not the box, it's the shoes inside that matter. Let's open it up. So they have styrofoam on the insides to help them hold their shape. It says Chun Run at the bottom. I couldn't find anything about that on Google. Looking on the inside, you can clearly see the glue in the corners, glue stains on the piece of cork board or particle board in the bottom, and very poor gluing on the sides. It does kind of feel like leather, so they didn't lie in that aspect, but it has more of a plastic feel to it. The stitching on it is done by a machine, so handcrafted is a bit of an exaggeration, albeit not a lie. The lining is the absolute thinnest piece of fabric I have ever seen. It has a strange odor inside. I'm thinking that it's from the cheap glue that was used for the shoes. So the shoe itself looks beautiful, but as they say, polish a turd and it's still a turd. You probably can't see how it feels, so I'll do my best to explain it to you. Have you ever put on a shoe that's a full size too small? 
Well, that's how this feels. Like I said, I normally wear a size 12 or a 12 wide, and this is a size 13 US. It's way too small on me. And now let's look at the other shoe. Again, fashion, outdoors, explo, ration. Maybe exploration, but that's still not what it says. More styrofoam inside. This one does not say Chun Run on the bottom like the first pair does. The lining comes out just as easily and is basically a thin piece of fabric just like the last one. It virtually does nothing. You can see right here that some of the stitching is already coming undone and I haven't even tried them on yet. Underneath you can see the cork board or the particle wood. Not exactly sure which one it is. We have more glue stains showing its poor construction. It feels like leather on both sides. Very cheap and thin leather, but still leather as far as I can tell. The stitching on the outside of the heel looks nice and it really is a beautiful shoe, but very poor quality. It's glossy so it's not something you're supposed to polish and as you can see there are already several scratches on it. Can't really do much about those. Just like the other pair, clearly not a size 13 US. I reached out to kingsmanshoes.co to try to send them back. That option was immediately rejected. They did tell me that I could pay $25 for each pair to ship them back to the manufacturer and then another $25 for the replacement pairs to be sent to me which comes out to an additional $75 on top of the $70 that I already paid for the floral pair and the $49 that I paid for the black pair, which would bring the total from $119 up to $194 for two pairs of poorly constructed shoes. I told them that this was unacceptable since I ordered them bigger than I normally wear and yet they were still too small. So if you've ever done business with a company based out in Asia, they have no need to work with you to make sure that you're happy with the subpar merchandise. At the end of the day, I got a nice video out of it. I'm able to put that video on YouTube so that way you guys can make a more informed decision if you want to purchase these shoes if and when the advertisement for the shoes shows up on your device. And then somebody who shops at my local Goodwill with a size 11 foot is going to be able to enjoy these shoes for a very short time until they fall apart. Well, that's all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed watching the video, make sure you let me know by hitting the like button at the bottom, and I'll see you next time.